Yo, what is going on guys? My name is Class 3 and welcome back to another video. Um, I have been playing Hollow Knight for a couple of months now, and it's become my favorite game. So, in short, this video is going to become a boss fight video. I beat Nightmare King Grim yesterday, and yeah, without further ado, let's get into it. So... I really want to analyze most of, if not all, of his attacks. I know the gameplay here is really fast, but he doesn't have too many attacks. Um, he's obviously a Hollow Knight boss, so he's not going to mix and match different attacks. Um, so the first attack, and you saw him do this as actually his very first attack, is the little dash. That one is hard to counter, I would say. It takes a bit of practice to counter. Um, to start things off, this is an endgame boss. I recommend you have most of, if not all, the upgrades. I'm running Unbreakable Strength, Quick Slash, um, I believe, maybe Sharp Shadow? No, I don't think I'm running Sharp Shadow. Um, but I'm running Quick Slash, Unbreakable Strength, um, Mark of Pride and obviously Grimchild, because you will have to use Grimchild for this fight. So the first attack, which is the dash attack, I recommend you dash through Grim, and then walk just a little bit towards the direction he dashes, and that will um, mean that you don't get hit by any of the fireballs, which is ideally what you would like, obviously. Um, so... The next attack that he likes to do, he spawns in the air. I believe he just did it. Um, he dashes down at you and then goes either left or right. If you dash to the right, he will follow you to the right. Uh, so the best thing to do here is just to jump and then pogo on top of him. You won't hit the flames, the, um, the flame, or the fire after effects. Um, so... As long as you get a good pogo. If you pogo while you're like inside of him, it won't work as you just saw. Um, that It's a viable strategy. Next up is the fire bats. Uh, this is a really good attack to get some damage in because there's not a lot of spots where you can get damage in on this boss. So fire bots, fire bots, fire bats. I recommend that you double jump um, in towards him land on the ground, and then shade dash. That'll uh, let you shade dash, shade dash through the fire bat, uh, the last fire bat, and get one or two hits in, depending on what you um, are using. The flame pillar attack, um, which is one of the easier ones to avoid and get damage in, um, what I recommend you do is you run towards one of the corners of the uh, arena, but don't get too close to the corner, and then right as the first pillar um, comes up behind you, turn around and dash through it. That'll confuse the AI and make another pillar spawn like further away, which allows you to get one extra hit in on Grim. Uh, so instead of being able to get two, one hit, you'll be able to get two. Um, occasionally, if you get too close to Grim, then he will skitter away or dash away. Um, and also, uh, to finish this boss up, um, you'll notice that, uh, he goes into the little bubble phase. This, uh, is very, very, very hard to, I'd say it's his worst attack because it is mostly, if not purely, RNG based. Um, unless you are godly at dodging the little orbs, um, it's really hard if you get, like, three or four ones that you have to jump over at a time. Um, the best strategy I've found is to back yourself into a wall and then um, jump accordingly. So any ones that are close to the ground, you will want to not hold the jump button. Uh, and then any that are uh, stacked twice, any balls that are stacked twice, you will then... Uh, yeah, that's my charm loadout, by the way. I was using Grimchild as well. Um, any balls that are stacked twice, you will have to do a large jump for, or I guess you could double jump over them. I don't really, it doesn't really matter to me. 
And then those ball phases are good to as a little indication of where you are because if you get it's either three or four more hits on him after the uh, ball phase and the ball attack then he will stagger which will give you a chance to heal um, I don't recommend going for healing or for spells um, because um, the staggers are few and far between and you will probably want to get the healing over the stat or over the damage so that's pretty much it i hope you guys enjoyed if you did be sure to leave a like if you guys really enjoyed be sure to subscribe i know this was a short video if you guys want me to do more boss uh videos let me know down in the comments below and i will catch you guys in the next one peace